tired of the other women. I'm tired of him using me. For two months, I didn't even hear from you. Where were you? I'm overwhelmed, man. I love you. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He fooled you about 50 times. We are a financial disaster because of him. Divorce doesn't exist where I'm from. Neither one of you is wrong for having your opinions, but it just makes you wrong for each other. There's been a huge breach of trust, according to you. She was on the fast with the pastor. She sent her pictures with a smoothie of straw in her mouth. Mm. And a Sasha McMuffin. Can I eat this, pastor? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hold on, why you got to send pictures with it? Here is today's case. This wife says she's done with her husband's philandering ways. She's ready to throw him and his scooter out the door. Will these newlyweds make it another three months, or will he be scooting his way out of her heart? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Saxon from Jacksonville, Florida. We are so happy to have you with us, Saxon. As our special guest, I'm sending you a signed copy of my book, Sis Don't Settle. Your Honor, this is the case of Hines versus Hines. Thank you, Juan. Miss Letitia Hines. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your husband, Mr. Martin Hines. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. I understand that the two of you have been married for three months. Yes. And you're already here. Yes. Not off to a great start. No, ma'am. Well, let's find out what's going on in the, in the three-month marriage, Miss Hines. What's brought you to divorce court? Well, Your Honor, my husband, Martin Hines, thinks he could do anything he wants throughout our marriage, and I'm letting him know he can't. So in three months, he's shown you he, he thinks he can do anything he wants? Yes. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Hines? You know, Anna, she accuses me of cheating. Mm -hmm. And um, she accuses me of being too old because there's a great age difference. But, being too old? Well, she, yeah. she knew how old you were when she married you, right? Well, that too. But mm -hmm. she's had issues herself, Yana. So what is going on? Because you actually have some specific incidents you say have happened yes. that have brought you to this point where you've reached your breaking point after three months. Yes, Your Honor. I have inboxes from females that saying I'm not the only one and I will never be the only one and that he's still messing around with them, he's still sleeping with them, and, you know, and it's just beginning to be too much. So a woman writes you. Yes. You respond and you say, you don't do drama. You're the wrong one. You're good. Yes. And this woman keeps writing to you. You will see in time, I never go away. He's at a temporary place and he is shareable. Well, sir, who is this woman? Do you know? No, Your Honor. But who is she? Why do you believe her? At first, I didn't because I'm the one that don't believe everything until you show me. But as time progresses, I start to believe everything she said because of his actions. Well, what are his actions? Staying out late, not coming in till 6 o'clock in the morning, you honor. Mm. Um, being over people's houses that he don't supposed to be over. And I have proof of that as well. Mr. Howes, you, you staying out till 6 o'clock in the morning? But not really, your honor, because I go to work at 4 o'clock p.m. Okay. Right? And I don't get off until... 12 o'clock okay. a.m. So technically, that's not all night. Well, where are you from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Well, mm -hmm. well um, when I get out there, a hard day's work, I mean, she know I like to, you know, have a little sip out the work or whatever, okay. or just to relax or to cool, you know what I mean? To mm -hmm. just cool out. And I'll just go over to my friend's house, because all of us usually get off at the same time anyway. Right. So I'll just go over to their house and we'll have a few drinks and I'll come home. So a few drinks. Yeah. But you're out till 6 a.m. So that would be what? Six hours. A half of a drink every hour? I mean, six hours. Six hours? Yeah. That does equate to you being out all night, sir, coming home at 6 in the morning. Well, I don't see it like that. You on? How often do you do that? I mean, like three times a week. Now, Mr. Hines, you, you don't think that's a lot for, for a, a newlywed? You just got married three months ago? Well, when, when You know, she... a lot of times when you get married, you got to change a single way, sir. Yeah, you're right. But when she asked me about it, Your Honor, I actually posted on social media. I put it on social media because I wanted to hear the opinions of, like, everybody. So your wife doesn't like it, but no. you decided to take a survey of the general public to see if she was right or wrong. And so you then you took those survey results and decided that you were wow. in the right about this. Let, yeah. let me see your post, sir. If I leave the house 1 o'clock in the morning and come back at 10 o'clock, is that considered staying out all night? If I go to work at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Your Honor, oh. and I get off the next day, which is the, it's, it's, it's a different calendar day. It's not the ninth. Mm -hmm. I come, I go to work on the 9th, and I come home on the 10th. If I stay out from 12 to 6 o'clock 
on the 10th, then that's not, a, that's not all night. So according to the, to, to the Social public, media. the people in the streets, they have told you that, that you are doing no wrong. So you have continued. Okay, what, what else is happening? Your Honor, I have proof that, his, that the Facebook friends did say it was too much and too long and too late and that if you out, you should at least call your wife. So according to you, the survey results were on your side. Yes, Your Honor. No, that's not true. That's not true. If you leave at 8 or 9, come back at 9 the next day, is that staying out all night? Someone responds, yes. Someone else responds, or don't come back at all. A third opinion was rendered, and they said, yes, it is enough time to make house calls. You got off at 12. You should be home by 1. So the public has weighed in. Yes, Your Honor. On this scenario, sir. And not everyone was on your side, as you led me to believe initially. And what, what, what happens after that, ma'am? After that, Your Honor, um, he does get around on a scooter for his transportation. And it's been several times that I'd have caught him and his scooter at another female house. I have proof of that. <laughs> Mr. Hines, is that you on the scooter, sir? Yes, I was going to work, Your Honor. I believe I was going to work that day. You were going to work? Yeah. You're not scooting off to no good? No. Is what you're telling me? No. Well, who's, whose house did she, did she see your scooter parked at that day? Well, where she gets that from is like, um, it's a small, it's not a very large city, but mm -hmm. my friends, they'll come get me mm -hmm. and I, I'll leave the scooter here and I'll, or now they'll, I'll come back and get it later on mm -hmm. or whatever the case, but it's not at, no, at a female's house. She don't even know who stays at the house. Okay. It can be anybody's house. She, she's never knocked on the door or, or approached the person that lives there. But, 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 you're, it, it's, but it's not anyone's house. You're saying it's a, it's a friend of yours and it's a yeah. male friend. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, the house that I said is a female house. Mm. And he does have a friend that he does leave his school at. But, Your Honor, why would you leave your school at your friend's house when you have a home to come to? Why are you leaving your scooter? At, that, that is actually and a question. And not come home. If I go to... Why a, are you parking your scooter at someone else's home? We might be going to the park or play some basketball mm -hmm. or watch some basketball or whatever, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and I'll just leave the scooter at my friend's house and jump in the car with him. Did you take a public opinion a poll? No. About where you should be parking your scooter, the appropriate no. places it should be left? No. You did not? Okay. You know, and I came home. I, w I was like, well, I'll be there later on. I came over to the house, and she had grabbed a hammer. I said, why? Well, what you going to do? Miss Hines grabbed a hammer? She was swinging, and, and she Ms. was Hines? like, I'm tired of that. Yes, Your Honor. You, you did that? Yes, Your Honor. So you think you got his attention by, by, by putting it? holes in your own wall? Every time we run across one of those type of situations before she catching my scooter at someone's house or I come home late, the first reaction is get out. This happens like three or four times a week. She'll kick me out the house. I've been like, well, well, I'm going out to have some drinks. Well, take all your stuff with you. I was like, how can I take all my stuff with me? I'm just going to have a drink for an hour or two. Why do you think she's so upset about these scenarios where you're, you're coming home and she's kicking you out so much? Because of her own wrongdoings. Mm. I also have the evidence of her kicking me out on several occasions. She's, she, I mean, her anger management is just ridiculous. Let me see your evidence. Is that you, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor, that's me kicking him out because I'm getting tired and I was warning him that if he don't change, then this is gonna be the last straw. And he, and I guess he thought I was playing, but mm -hmm. I'm serious. If it doesn't change, Your Honor, this is it. There's another video as well that, that, the, that the court hasn't seen. I have another video. And what is this video of? of her, oh, displaying her acts of violence. This is a warning. Now, I'm pulling off. Now, you think I'm playing. I'm not playing. I'm gonna put the rest of them out here if you don't come get your That's at my job, Your Honor. She was, came that, my... was that your scooter in the top right? Yes, that's at my job. Because sometimes I leave my scooter at work. She'll come get me, or I'll have one of my coworkers drop me off at the house, mm -hmm. and I'll leave the scooter at work. But there, she came up there with all my clothes. Oh, come get your stuff. And then another time, uh, you know, and I came home. I, w I was like, well, I'll be there later on. I came over to the house, and she had grabbed a hammer. I said, why? What you going to do? Miss Hines grabbed a hammer? Yeah. She tried to hit me with it, but she, hit it, she ended up hitting the door. And I got some evidence. Look, look right there, look, look. She was swinging, and she was on the phone with a relative. And, and, and she Ms. was Hines? like, I'm tired of that. Yes, Your Honor. You, you did that? Yes, Your Honor. Why? Because I was tired, and that's the only way I feel like he could communicate with me if I you know, show violence to him because if we sit down and try to communicate, Your Honor, 
he do not communicate at all. So you think you got his attention by, by, by putting doing holes in your own wall? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, what sense does that make? It don't make no sense, Your Honor. But that's the only way he know how to communicate. It's all of this is happening and in, in, in you've only been married for three months. This is supposed to be the honeymoon phase. Yes, Your Honor, you're right. But and evidently it's it, not. I think it's only gotten worse than Your Honor because we, there's always been issues. How long were the two of you in a relationship before you got married? About a year. A year? Yes. And then you married him knowing that he was staying out? Yes, Your Honor. Because I felt like that if we was to get married, that things would change between us and I guess it didn't appear yeah, that Yeah, that way. never happens, just so you know. A wedding doesn't change anything. It breaks the bank, but it doesn't break bad habits. What do you have to say, sir? Well, Your Honor, I've had reason to believe that she's been cheating as well. Mm. You know, I have text messages and the same evidence she has, I have the same evidence, Your Honor. Uh, what specific evidence do you have? Um, well, um, her child's father, mm -hmm. he was texting me back and forth. He had, he had jumped in my inbox and he was texting me and telling me that he had, you know, he had slept with her or whatever. He sent you messages just out of the blue saying that he was still involved with her? You don't think he was just trying to stir the pot? No, because he... I mean, no. Because he sent me text messages. What's his name? Ali. So she goes to him and tell him, Martin said, oh, me and you sleeping around with each other. Mm -hmm. And so there's, they're going on and on behind that for that. And these are the messages you're, you're referring to? Yeah, I know what it's Who, Who's in the green? I'm in the green. She said... You want a cookie already. I knew that, but who cares? I don't mind sharing. You're getting sloppy seconds. This is what you're telling Ali? I'm telling him. Because at the top, I said... She said, your blank, stop working. And then I said... Then he said, if that's true, why you think I... He slept with her slept the other with her day. the other day. Right. Is this true? No, they, you honor. So you did not... You have not become involved with Mr. Ali again? No, you honor. So you have been faithful in this marriage? Since we've been married, yes. Mm. Okay, so since you've been married, that's only been three months. Yes, Your Honor. H were you unfaithful prior to the three Just months? Just one time, Your Honor. Does and he know about that? Yes, he does, Your Honor. You knew? Yeah, she didn't tell me, though. But you, you, you know now. Yeah. This is not a surprise to you in court today? No. Okay. I understand we have a witness. Who is the witness? Ali. Oh, he's here. Okay, I'd like to speak to Mr. Ali. Man, I don't know why they married. I told her not to marry him anyway. He cheating with her. She cheating with the guy, his job. They all the pieces, man. They just totally messy, in my opinion. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I understand we have a witness. Who is the witness? Ali. Oh, he's here. Okay, I'd like to speak to Mr. Ali. Mr. Herbert? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for being here with us today, sir. I understand that you have a child with Miss Hines and you have some information you'd like to share with the court today. Basically, both of um, them, they, they pretty much... Both of them pretty much childish, man. All they do is fight and argue with each other, man. I don't know why they married. I told her not to marry them anyway because they was beefing and fighting and cutting up before they even got married. He cheat with her. She cheating with the guy, his job. They all the pieces, man. They just totally messy, in my opinion. Okay, Mr. Herbert. So, you, you cleared everything right up for me in this case today. So, when you were going back and forth with Mr. Hines, sir, it wasn't true that you had an affair with Miss Hines. Am I right, sir? I mean, he, Letitia called me one day and said that Mr. Hines keeps saying my name. So M I was like, Mr. why Herbert? is he saying M my name? M Mr. Herbert, can you, can you sit still for me yeah. in front of the camera? You sound like you got a house full over there today. <laughs> Let him know you're on divorce yeah, court yeah, right yeah. now, Mr. Herbert. Okay. Yeah, they upstairs. But look, so... One day, Tisha called me and was just like, he keeps saying my name. So I'm trying to figure out why on earth would this married man be saying my name to his wife? I just couldn't figure it out. And mm -hmm. she comes and brings it back to me. And I get involved in their marital business that I have nothing to do with. Okay, Mr. Herbert, thank, thank you for being here today. And, and tell everyone in the Herbert household we said hello. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna let them know you can uh, say hello. Ms. Hines? Yes. This was your witness that you asked to come to court today? Um, I, I don't know how helpful he was in, in, in this case. 
Um, actually, Your Honor, I didn't even know that Mr. Um, Hines had gave them that um, statement. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me, did I have any proof of that statement? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, my um, child's father can testify that he did not sleep with me. That's how that came about. But the other stuff about me sleeping with other people, Your Honor, I don't even know where he get that from. Mm -hmm. That was like a long time ago. He seemed like he was very happy to be here today in the mix to share his perspective about your marriage. I don't know how much credibility Mr. Herbert has in this case because he's already lied in the past about sleeping with her. So now he's saying that she's sleeping with somebody else. He appears to be someone who is very enthusiastic about stirring the pot. Here's where we are. You've been married for three months. You came to divorce court today and you said in your statement, you said you thought that getting married would save your relationship and it backfired in your face. Yes, That's what mom. you said. Because you were having these problems prior to the two of you getting married. But you decided to go for it anyway and therein lies the life lesson. Yes, Your Honor. Marriage doesn't change anything but your last name. Everything else about the person you're marrying, that's who you're marrying. So if you want to stay married, you got to start making some changes about each other because you got to start managing your anger. It's out of control. Yes. You say the only way I can get his attention is to take a hammer and break my own property. Make it make sense, Ms. Hines. That's the only way he will listen and actually hear me out, if not only that. So then you so can't communicate. So then you can't communicate. This is not somebody you can be married to then. Or if you think taking a hammer to the wall is the answer. Or take her wedding ring or won't he wear a wedding ring, Your Honor? Well, Mr. Hines? Your Honor, I don't wear my wedding ring because I want to let him know that I am serious about it. So if he don't change, I will leave it right here today. Mr. Hines, you are now married. You have a wife at home. She would like for you to come home at night, sir. Now, I'm not saying you can't go out and have a few after work. But this is something I believe is a reasonable request and reasonable compromise. Staying out until 6 o'clock in the morning, three nights a week, you're doing far too much. You conducted Facebook polls to find out what you do about your marriage, but you have the answer because your wife has told you she doesn't like it. Isn't she the person who holds the highest opinion out of everyone? Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. you got to start listening. You know, marriage isn't for everyone. Is it for you? Yes. Okay. Is it for you? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. So you know. I know. I think you're fortunate to know this at three months because I have people who are in here, it takes them a long time to figure it out. So how do you feel about making that decision today? Okay. You made peace with it? Yes. Mr. Hines, do you understand her? Yes. She's ready to end the marriage after three months because of everything that's happened in the relationship? Yes, Your Honor. Because we're past blaming and who's at fault. It's just, it just hasn't worked out. Because I can tell you right now, a relationship is only going to be as healthy as the two people who are in it. <sighs> Good luck to both of you. Thank you. When Judge Faith told me that nothing would change but your last name, I realized that I have to get out of this relationship or it's going to get worse. You know, I don't, of course, I don't want to lose my wife. Um, I love her, and I know that there's, you know, there's some hope that we, there's nothing too serious that can't be fixed. But I think with, with a little help, a little counseling or something, that we could possibly make it happen. What I'm going to do is give him his ring back right now and walk away. 